Hey everybody, it's July 2nd, so this will be the nine weeks of growing in my big fancy greenhouse here. And it's going pretty good. I got the cracky bucket. This actually might be my best cracky bucket ever, even though I don't have any cucumbers off it yet. It's just going like crazy. There's some flowers starting to go. Looks like I got a double one there. The roots on this guy is super cool. Look at this guys. It's pretty cool. So most of the my other ones are Dutch buckets for those asking. So Dutch buckets are tied to the system. They go to a reservoir with a pump and then back out and they get watered on a timer here and these guys are just nutrients in buckets so they're separate kind of like these guys the cucumber or uh, celery here and the tomato plant here that's doing pretty well it's a little dark it might be getting too hot there for them uh, I did have another celery out here but he's not too happy it was pretty hot here a couple of days this week so he was here right in the, the middle of the heat so I'm gonna put in some new stuff my wife loves bok choy and most of our family loves the Swiss chard so I got one here that I'm gonna eat the rest of this for lunch we've been munching on that quite a bit lettuces are still going good I can't eat them fast enough I got four this guy's Kind of bolted, but he's still trying. His basil's picking up. Good stuff. Uh, getting a strawberry flower here in this guy. That's cool. The Georgia collards. We got two of them going. Arugas coming up, and I just keep cutting the flowers off so they don't bolt as quick. Really good, really spicy, those ones. Uh, one of the biggest surprises this week is this guy, who I found, if you check last week's video, there's a cucumber maybe about a little bigger than this guy here. But look at him now. You can, uh, all of my buddies can make jokes now. It's 11 and a half inches. So make up your own joke. But yeah, I'm cutting that guy off today, so that'll be a cucumber salad of some sort. Lots more flowers on this guy, too. These guys are really loving it here. All these cucumber plants. Lots of flowers on the pepper plants. The peach ghost is getting bigger. I did see uh, yeah, there's a couple in here, which is excellent. If you're local, the, this is the uh, one from Urban Roots with the uh, ghost pepper, Carolina Reaper, and the Trinidad Scorpion. Very nice combo to get started. This is the only one I have in, in dirt here, in the greenhouse. Uh, if something fails, it, this one might be going in, just because I'd love to try it doing the, the super hot peppers in the, well, other than this peach ghost in uh, the Dutch buckets. Tomatoes are up high. The the top of this greenhouse is eight feet, so they're about seven feet tall from the from the buckets here, the top of the buckets. Got a bunch of peas on this plant. They're very good. More tomatoes coming in. Oh, there's, yeah, this is, this is a combination of a cucumber and a, a tomato plant with not too much space. So if you are planting one of these, you got to plant them out, try and get them to go up higher and not spread out. This bean is uh, coming back down again. He was up at the top, so it's got to be nine feet long now. i got one bean here growing. Not a lot. The, I couldn't find a lot of beans this morning. They're probably out somewhere. There's a few flowers. I should be getting tons of tomatoes off this guy. There's half a dozen now. 
These guys are getting pretty big. I love the shape of them. Not the perfect uh, ones you buy in the store, but even better. Some of the roots. Right, so I'll have to tie this guy up somehow. Or maybe I'll just let this guy go around the front, down the bottom here. Yeah, always cool to see. See what they grab onto. These tomato cages suspended are great for, for hydroponic growth. I got a, a post just up here and I hang some upside down on that floor. For those guys, I got one upside down here for this tomato plant. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna take all the dirt off these guys and put them in. And I'll uh, maybe film that because that'll be riveting. One sec. Hey, so I'm back. Uh, so I got the Swiss chard and the two bok choys in there. I didn't get them completely clean, but uh, I can clean out these pipes pretty good, so it doesn't get back in the, the the dirt doesn't get back in the reservoir. So hopefully that's the case. I haven't had anything plug up this year. Knock wood. Uh, here's the cucumber I I picked, and uh, here's some. Of the peppers I got growing in beer cans for comparison it's pretty big it's a tall can uh, I did want to keep this Swiss chard I might eat it but I want to want to see if these guys will will come out you see the roots on it how big they are it's pretty cool that's yeah, a so I haven't put nutrients in these guys yet, but the next time I put nutrients in, I'll add a little more and, and give these guys some and just see what they do. I'm not expecting much, but I think that celery's done. But you never know. Got to try. All right, I think that's it. Everything I needed to show you this week. Well, it's actually showing me so I can look back and see what I did right and wrong and see how everything went. So uh, thanks for everyone that's following along. And I'll see you next week. Oh, good timing. There's the pump coming back on. I might as well show you. Oh, there's a little leak there. Okay, I gotta fix that. But yeah, this is just uh, one little pump. Okay, I better go fix that. Thanks for watching.